My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Thank you for tuning in. Jake, how goes it? Some good hand stuff for Zach. Wait, what? We went to Yankees Dodgers, that was cool. Fifth sell out of 48,000 people. All with a common goal. Have fun and enjoy themselves. Not everyone. Not the vendors. Not everyone. Some of them were mad. The vendors. What else is going on in the world of sports? Jim, All-Star Game's coming up. We've been to the past few. It's always, you know, the Midsummer Classic. A great nickname for a Met event. And White Sox fans, who are having one of their worst seasons in history... They're trying to get their guy in the game. Yeah, Martin Maldonado. But he's he's been the worst player in the league. Yeah, negative 34 OPS plus or something like that, which means like negative 30% worse than your average player. White Sox fans are mad. 14 game losing streak for them, which is a record. Uh, looking like the worst White Sox team to ever be assembled. I'm hoping this goes through so we take away the vote. Remember when the Royals had like everyone? Because all of a sudden they like baseball. We try to do a nice thing. We try to engage with fans. But then you have situations like this that make all-star games kind of questionable sometimes. Yeah. Because I do want to see the stars, but this is, again, the opposite. But you do want to see the stars. You don't want it to be a bunch of people that don't have any name appeal. Right. Which is why MLB wants the vote. So I do understand that. And MLB mm-hmm. changes all the votes anyways. I think they do them in rounds now. Like, they're not going to let Melanado get to the next round. Nothing's real. Remember when American Idol was like, text this number and we'll eliminate someone? Uh, no, we're just going to keep the person around that the audience uh, likes or hates the most. For Zach's people. favorite show. Remember when everyone thought David Archuleta was going to win and then David Cook won? Mm. Mm. No, Zach. No. Because we're not losers like you. Anyway, congrats, Mark. Congrats to Marty Maldonado. Machete. Our employee of the week. Not. Spoiler, it's not him. What was this almost a breakdown you saw? And you laughed at the first time you saw it. I laughed when I saw this for the first time. You uh, say Kikuchi. He was in Oakland. The dugouts are just on the field. There's like a metal bench the players have to sit on. Foul ball comes. Kikuchi's not paying attention. It's a game in Oakland. He sees the guy next to him run away because the ball's coming towards them. (sighs) Heads up, stands up, head down, just runs. Boom. (sighs) Collides with the defender who was trying to make the play and takes him out. They both go to the ground. They were all yelling at each other. The quotes from the managers are great. They're like, yeah, clearly wasn't on purpose. They called him out. That's the right call. And no one got hurt. So we're good. Both managers had that to say. Stop being embarrassed, Kikuchi. Kikuchi, he was very embarrassed. He said, I just wanted to create a little hole and hide inside it because I was a little embarrassed. Sounds like a lot embarrassed, to be honest. Kikuchi sleeps like 14 hours a day. Like a koala. Koala sleep 22 hours a day, I believe. And uh, littered with uh, chlamydia. Koalas. All right, enough of that. Let's go back to the sports. Let's go back to the DraftKings Casino. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Hit me with the more sports. It's cricket season. It's the season of the sticks (laughs) and Team USA. 2-0. First, they beat Canada. Aaron Jones, you might know him from a little thing called the Warehouse Games. Led them to victory versus Canada. Got on his front foot, started banging sixes all over. Then they play Pakistan. That's how I say it now, because I've been cultured. They're supposed to lose to them, and they uh, hang on. It actually goes to a super over, which is basically extra innings. We thought they lost. Very dramatic. We thought they lost. I was told they lost, and then I checked my phone later, and I was we told, no, actually, they, they won. Lost. They're 2-0. and oh. They're at the top of the table. Right now, they may advance to the Super 8s. That would be incredible. It'd be awesome. So, very excited for them. I was genuinely very excited for them. Check it out. Tomorrow, they play India. If they're in that game, it's insane. But that's what we would have said about uh, Pakistan as well. And they won that game. I'll be on the call. So, tune in. Hello. I'm going to say things like, go go USA. Oh, you're so biased. Yeah. They asked me on the last game. They're like, what do you think? USA fans would say if they beat India. And I was just like, I think they'd just say, duh, this is easy. We're America. Like jerks. Yeah. Not, I didn't say those words, but like that sentiment. Like, okay, guess we're good. Yeah. <laughs> like they wouldn't have no idea of the America. historic. It's literally one of the biggest upsets in international cricket. So go team, go. This not sports is not related to cricket. No, this is its own story altogether. Hesitant hitmen jailed over botched assassination in China. Now, I love this story. I didn't know if I was going to like it or not like it. Zach, you're going to love it. Doesn't feel like it's normally in our wheelhouse. The first guy hired a hitman to take out his competitor, a businessman named Tan, for $282,000. That hitman said, okay, thank you. He took it pocketed half and outsourced it to another another hitman. hitman. Pocketed half, hired another hitman. 
Mm. It went through six different dudes. The last dude mm. met so up with Mr. It. Way yeah. and was like, dude, why don't we just fake it? Like, I didn't get paid that much anyway. I don't want to kill you, bro. Bound, gag you, take a picture. We're all good. And Mr. Way agrees, takes the fake death pose, and then goes to the cops and like, mm. hey, they were trying to kill These me. These guys are so dumb. They all got jail time. This has been going... They First, they all got no charges and... A three-year trial. Tw tw Damn it. A three-year tr trial. Tan, who hired the original hitman, five years in prison. Yeah. I'm fine with him getting uh, the most. I have no idea why the other guys are getting less and less as the money gets less. Yeah. So how much you charge equals how much prison time you're going to do. They're all doing the same thing. Isn't murder murder? Crazy that this trial happened once and mm. everyone was acquitted. And then they, and they had to bring everyone back. Yeah. But that proves... Three, two, two one. one. Don't hire a hitman and hire have them hire other hitmen along yeah. the way. Don't get in the outsourcing hitman game. It's the, the employee, employee of the week. week. It's, it's the employee of the week. week. It's the employee of the week. These are two guys who are adjacent to each other. Pat Sajak is the first. He retired. What a run. And the other guy... Has met Pat Sajak, Ryan Cohen. Ryan Cohen, who technically works here as an employee. But he's sharing it. He was a contestant on Wheel of Fortune. Right. Grilled ham? Yeah, that's it. So him and Pat are friends. He's been running around the Cricket World Cup. Learning. Learning a lot from the best to ever do it. King of Swing. <sighs> Sultan of Swing. Comment below who that is. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of Weekly Dumb was brought to you by our friends over at DraftKings Casino, where you can choose from over 300 real money games, slots, blackjack, roulette, and live dealer games whenever you want. We've partnered with DraftKings to let you know about an awesome deal they have going on right now. All new customers who sign up using promo code BIG. Dumb. And play just $5 will instantly receive $50 in casino credit. So download the DraftKings Casino app, sign up using promo code Big Dumb. I stopped watching after the Kelly Pickler season, which was Kelly the best Pickler. season Listen of American Idol. Listen how emotional Idol. he's getting. Was that Ruben Stuttered and Clay Aiken? No. Do you remember Sanjaya? Those are the follow-up seasons. Sanjaya ended the show. Clay Aiken and Ruben Stuttered were season two. Yeah. Kelly Clarkson was season one. Yeah. Kelly is the American She's Idol. still the best winner of all time. Who yeah. was the other one? Underwood? Carrie Underwood. Yeah. She was with Kelly Pickler. That was a great season. That was later in. Hicks. Bald guy. Yeah. Taylor Hicks. Yeah. He was that season. Gray. 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 That's why I pointed my head. Yeah, you said bald. Guy. I said bald, but I pointed in my head, which is gray. 